Have you yourself ever had a boxing match with someone? <laughs> Only Amruta, yeah? Okay, don't tell about it. Hello Anish, congratulations. What a day. What a day. Yeah, very happy of course today to win. Uh, but mostly it's about tomorrow. Eh? Tomorrow is the deciding uh, day. So uh, let's, let's see what happens. A few critical moments that I wanted to ask about. In the first game, it came as a big surprise that from this position, when you actually reached. Yeah, no, I played well. There were just two big mistakes. So one was I should have traded queens uh, when I could. Ah, yes, exactly. Why didn't you take the queen at this position? I kind of wanted to play for more, but of course I should just trade the queen, play knight d to f1. He would go rook d7, um, knight g3, yeah. and he has a very strong move bishop to g6, I think, stopping knight f5. And I have to go f5, push my pawn, or I thought maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, then he goes bishop f7, f or h, maybe h. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I somehow thought that this is, I mean, this is not winning, it's much better for white, but I thought, okay, he will take on d4, it's equal pawns, quite drawish. I mean, not drawish, but I don't know, it didn't look winning. I thought that if I keep the queens, I will have some attack in the long run, but it was, it didn't work out, just the decision didn't work out. I, I thought it was a practical decision, but uh, I regretted it after a few moves. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because then I think Wesley's next move here, queen h4 was a very tricky move, because if you played uh, a5, there was knight d5 coming. Yeah, I assumed there was some trick, but I was, uh, what I should have played is g3. Yes, yes, exactly. Cheap. And what I missed is, uh, I missed this rook 2 rook h2 thing. Uh, I missed that. Queen h3, I thought. And I didn't see how to get to the queen. It felt like I should, but I have knight h2 f1, and then I have rook uh, rook 1, yeah, rook e2, rook h2. I just didn't see that. Uh, ah. that, would, that would be the, that was the plan. But yeah. uh, what happened was that I, uh, my e4 pawn was so well protected the whole game, at some point I just I somehow blundered it. It was a very strange blunder because also, you know, usually when you blunder, you see uh, right after you move, yeah? Yeah. Here I played knight f5 and I was looking at the board until he also thought for a long time, until he took, I just didn't see that. I don't know, like and maybe in my head. It was a blank spot. My, yeah. my knight was maybe on d2 in my head. I, yeah, it was a complete, uh, complete miracle. I mean, I was very worried, but fortunately, after this blunder, uh, the rest of the day I played okay. I mean, I was very worried. I thought maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm too tired or I don't know, because it's just crazy. Yeah, this just yeah. gave the pawn for nothing. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking I'm winning here because I thought 95, he has to play rookie six, and I, <laughs> I don't know. So after he took on e4, you lost this game, but it was. Yeah, sorry, that lost. Yeah. Uh, like a very brutal loss because you were better, and from that you lost. And so in yeah. the next game, I think it helped that uh, Wesley played a line which was like, uh, you know, an immediate draw. You didn't have to even think. It's a theory. Well, I don't know if it helped or not. Honestly, because it's one game less and you have only two games to come back and he's so solid. And you know that, okay, one more black game is going to be very hard because he's super solid. Okay, basically, you just have one white game, if you think like that. It makes sense. For example, the day before yesterday when I played Maxim, I came back immediately in the next game with black, yeah? So, I, I think if you win the first game, yeah, whether you make a drop with white in the second one, it's it's up to you. I think it's not a bad decision. I think it's an interesting decision. I don't know if I would do that. Depends. Wesley actually banged on the fact that he would continue being solid in the next game. Of course. And this game, actually, I thought... Uh, from the opening perspective, it went really well for Wesley. It is quite committal, but you know, it's not so easy to play these uh, things. Even here, okay, 95, 94, but I have queen of one, it's not so easy for him. Because he has to play, I think, actively. He has to play for advantage, but he wants, of course, uh, to be safe here because of the match situation. So that was the problem that he had, you know. I understand it perfectly. So here I'm already... Better, yeah, yeah, this I think. I think bishop g3 instead of that bishop but, f4, right? But a3 was a very good move. Ah, stopping bishop b4. E5 is yeah. a threat. Yeah, uh, a3 was just nice, just in case. I was thinking about knight f4. It looks a bit ugly at first because I have this light square control. But I was thinking, isn't it actually very good? Knight f4, bishop f4, bishop f4. Bishop takes, bishop takes, and queen g4, right? Yeah, but well, that's what he wants, no? It's equally shed game. Yeah, the knight f4 bothered me actually much more. Knight f4, it, it, it feels like a bad decision because like somehow, you know, you, you get bad bishop sort of, but not really bad. And somehow I don't really have like, if I had queen g4, king g2, it would be good, but I cannot really advance. 
So I thought Knight A4 was a very strong decision here, practically mm. speaking. Mm. Yeah, true. And that would have, you know, drew another game, perhaps, if he would have played Possibly, that. yeah, possibly. I mean, I have still, still game continues here, uh, yes, but uh, I I was not so optimistic here. I thought he is a very good player and I don't know, I didn't really... But, but after Bishop G3 FG, it got uh, tricky for him because, okay, my king is now quite safe mm. and uh, I have this... His knight on H5 is cut out of play a little bit. It was very interesting how you induced an error from him because here, Rook E4, I mean F5, F5 I uh, you, yeah, F5, F5, I think rook you would have got Rook H4, right? Yeah, and if G4, and if F4, then what happens? Yeah, F4, F4 is what we were discussing. Uh, rook G, F5, F5. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, honestly. Um, knight takes. Yeah, Queen G5, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I would have done that. Yes, yes, I would have done that. Wait, so it's good. F4 is a mistake. Yeah, F4 is a mistake. Ah, you know what was the move? Queen d5, right? Yes, yes, queen d5. I saw this, I saw this. Yeah, queen d5. Suddenly it occurred to me. Yeah, it occurred to me. Yeah, this I saw. This bothered me a lot. Yeah, and then he played instantly queen d5 and I could go ef. Yeah. And then it was like, in this position, if we went uh, queen d5 instead of queen d7, then mm -hmm. ef and rook e5 was winning for you. So you yeah, yeah. went ahead and then it came in the same position. Ah, so. true. It happened anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, now rook e5 is very important. Yeah, like his king just doesn't get a time to come back properly. Exactly. And uh, actually, I don't know if my conversion was good. Like, I should have had more. Um, Maybe queen e2 is, I think, the strongest. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But let's say, yes, let's say rook f8. Yeah, and now uh, after this uh, g4 or knight h4, actually. Okay, knight h4 didn't occur to me yet at this point. Um, and g4, I thought knight f4 is coming. Knight to g5, maybe. So that's why I didn't do this. I was really worried he will go king g7 back and knight f6, knight d5 and stabilize. I wanted at all costs to stop that. And I calculated this line, what I played. I thought it was good. Rook, uh, what did I play? No, rook this g5. Is fine. This is fine. I thought it was quite good. Yeah, and now rook f2, king g7, knight h4. I thought it was pretty good. I thought instead of queen, this is, could he play queen e8? It was an uh, interesting idea. There was some difference, I thought, maybe. Yeah, possible. Maybe yeah, you know what's the difference? Now, if I play rook f2, he goes king g8, king g7, king g7. sorry. Yeah. Knight h4, it's different now because. Oh, yeah, because there's no knight f5 fork. No, now it, it, yeah, it's, oh, this it's not is possible. Lost now because yeah, yeah, now it's rook e2, rook e2 is there. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna play like this. No, I would play knight e5, but if knight e5, then he can take and. Yeah, I didn't see actually after queen e8 how to win. He but takes and rook no, for you now. But are you sure rook f2, queen f2, rook e6, ah, and then g4, yeah, then g4. Yeah, but in the game, I won exchange. It was not so easy, by the way. And at some very, point, I felt like tough. I was very confused. I mean, he oh, found sorry, some. Soon. You went here. He started confusing me. Yeah. Knight h4. He went rook. Yeah, no, now it, I thought yeah, I'm winning. I'm at this queen d6. Yeah, queen d6. So. Yeah, yeah. Rook f2, king g7, knight h4. I thought I'm winning. And then he gives exchange. Yeah. And then he made this very, very strange move. Queen d4, rook g4. Rook g4 and now he played queen d6. That move probably shocked me. Yeah, it was, it was amazing defensive move because yeah, rook was, h5 was queen d Fantastic, thing. fantastic trap, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I mean, fantastic trap, yeah. And I was so impressed with this move. I mean, I'm completely <laughs> winning, but I was so impressed. I kind of panicked a bit here. I mean, of course I'm winning, but I just thought like, wow, the guy is such a genius. How am I ever going to win against him? <laughs> <laughs> really, you thought that? Yeah, I really thought that, yeah. <laughs> I thought that if, if somebody plays queen d6, you know, instantly, then this guy I will just never ever in my life beat because it's just... <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. I mean, these, some of his uh, defensive ideas were really deep. And that's the difference between, uh, you know, just a good player and someone like Wesley Stock who never loses, yeah, almost. Because, like, he finds his resources. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, I'm still probably winning, although it was not so easy. Um, yeah, here, actually, there was this very difficult win uh, for you, which was with Queen F5. But Knight, but G3 is not hanging because Rook takes G6, Rook E7, yeah? Yeah, Rook E7 here, just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This was the tough part actually to finish, but uh... ah, it's just direct, yeah, direct, yeah. I should have found it, yeah. But uh, no, but I had a plan here already. Wait, what did I play? I had some kind of idea. You rook G5? G5? Yeah. So my point was, look, my point was, I wanted to play first rook G E4, but if I play rook G E4, he has queen takes G3, only move. Knight G3. Then I have like in the game rook E7 business. Uh, this I kind of thought is winning for me, but he has queen G3, so that's why I played uh, rook G5 first in the game. And now if c4 or b6, I thought, yeah, c4, let's say, uh, now rook g5, and now I block the queen. This I thought was winning, but again, again, I thought that maybe, yeah, knight g3, I thought it just should be made. But suddenly I thought that, wow, it's maybe not made, you know? And I was completely panicking here. No, this one, I mean, the fact that there was no mate here, 
Yeah, it's amazing. No? It's unbelievable because his yeah, king is so uh, much exposed, and you found the only move that yeah, gives no, you I an was, advantage. Uh, no, I mean I was simply here thinking again. Yeah, like after last move, it was second move in a row that he plays knight g3. I thought, okay, the guy is just defending like a complete brilliant guy. I can never beat such person. But then suddenly I see rook g2, and actually I'm still winning. Yeah. But, but uh, no, the the yeah. moment he played rook e3, I think this was his yeah, no, this first uh, big blunder of the match, basically. Yeah. And yeah. This gave you the uh, kind of inroad into yeah, it. Yeah, this is now I'm just winning. And rook e4 is easiest. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this equalized the score. And then uh, we went into like uh, this game where Wesley had to. I don't know. I mean, he could have been okay with the draw, but he wanted to also. No, he was not anymore okay. You know, he's a little bit like. Um, you know, uh, have you ever done boxing, Sagar? Yes. I mean, not box, but I give analogies of boxing sometimes. But have you, have you yourself have ever had a boxing match with someone? <laughs> Only Amruta, yeah? Okay, don't tell about it. So, I'll tell you a secret about boxing. Yeah? So, I had once a boxing match. Um, you? You did boxing? Ooh. Yeah, I had once a boxing match. Wow. Okay. So, you see, when you start the match, you are thinking like, okay, let's, you are kind of uh, a little bit, well, at least me, yeah? I'm not really a boxer or anything, yeah? So I'm not really, you don't want to be hitting anybody or you don't want to be hit. But the moment somebody um, lands you a first punch, that's when you suddenly like, your hormones go all like all this, uh, all this testosterone, all these kind of things go on. Your fear all goes off and you just, and you just completely change as a person, you know? And I think it is a little bit similar with him also that after that game, he kind of completely uh, forgot who he is, you know, and he decided to go just for win this game. Very interesting. Yeah. Sagar, it's your stream, huh? your channel, so we have to do here some analogies. <laughs> yeah, but I was very like, deep and very, nice very, very amazing analogy. I'm just thinking about it because, you know, you could think about Wesley as a very calm player who might be like very objective, but once you things don't go your way, your brain suddenly starts to well, get yeah, once, a not, not even like don't go. You just like once you get a, once you get hit once, once you get punched, then like it's everything's changing in your uh, mindset. Everything mm -hmm. just you, uh, uh, and it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, he could have won this game, and then to be good. I'm not saying it was a mistake. It was not. A, it no, was just course. on country. Country, of course, with white, he can play and. I thought it was a respect, respectful decision to play. By the way, Bishop E6 is what you faced in 2019 Sinkfield Cup. Against uh, the Nepal, yeah. And, and you had said that this is uh, C5 is the very uncompromising way of playing against the Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, but uh, I wanted to just try this out. Uh, it's a very double-edged position. I wanted to try it out. Simple yeah. question here. Why not, like, why B6? Why not take here? And then Knight BD7, just like... Wouldn't this give you like good chances? And he has to take with the queen, maybe some other piece, probably queen, yeah? Yeah, also a possible bishop e2 maybe. Ah, uh, maybe better because then there is no knight h5, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say he takes with the bishop already. And bg3. Sometimes even, yeah, now how do you prepare? Let's say if you go rook e8. Uh, how, how is this move here like knight f7 now? Or yeah, so? well, but now you are very desperately trying to push, let's say bishop g5 is possible ah, sometimes. True, true, true. Also, your knight on b8 is not so good. Well, in this uh, system, sometimes you can play b6 to create an extra pressure point, you know? You know, Sagar, it's like when you have a web, yeah? Let's say you are a spider web. And you know, if you pull on one spot only, the, the spider, he can try to fix it, yeah? But if you if you pull a little bit on different sides, like b6, you pull there, e5, you pull there, and then like you pull everywhere a little bit, and suddenly like it all can crumble, yeah? Mm. <laughs> Today, AG and second mini clips are like second. too many <laughs> well, too making good, mini clips just here, uh, <laughs> but, as we speak. Uh, so, in the meantime, who won the boxing match? Arka Ghosh super chatted. That's a good question. <laughs> you you did that in when you were in Japan? I probably or? no no in Holland. Probably I lost, but I was and I disagreed with the referee. <laughs> <laughs> It was, let's say, not a, it was not, a, it was like a fight, not a knockout or anything. And then uh, I think, prob from what I remember, yeah, probably the other guy, they gave him more points, but it was not so, uh, not so obvious, I thought. My analogy here was that uh, too many kids on in the house, some have to be sent to school. So that's why I wanted to take on E2, but maybe as you rightly pointed out that it's not the best way. Uh, night of D7. No, but you want to keep all your kids at home, yeah? I mean, as long as, 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 long as possible. Right now, COVID, yes. So. And find also find them a good uh, good wife, you know, and arrange uh, for a good family, you know, everything. So. 
and very important that they go to college but then they come back so yes <laughs> in india at least okay f3 e5 very cool move very nice uh... yeah i hear i of course Bishop C8, of course, not a beautiful move. Yeah. Oh, here was the question. Yeah, like, did you? I score? didn't. I didn't really see. No, I saw later with the engine was saying some moves that just Bishop H6 didn't occur to me at all. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, now that I'm looking at it, I would have never played this move. I mean, it is just so beyond me. Bishop H6 is just so brilliant. Exactly. Like when we were discussing and Sager I would have said never played it. Yeah, not in a classical Bishop game. H6. Can I ask you one question? You played your match. After that, you went for an interview. After that, you came here. How did you even check? This that this is the movie or not? I mean, no, but yes, Sagar. Be between games, there are 15 moves, uh, 15 minutes. So I now like I'm super efficient with my uh, yeah. Like I have to prepare also between games, so I check it very fast. But now I see, by the way, because I go 97, 95, I have some incredible domination. But it's just it's wow. And now it's obvious to me actually, but it's just a little bit incredible. Still incredible. I don't it's know. Very wow. difficult to find this move, Bishop. It's, um, I mean, it's just it's genius. But maybe I should have gone Bishop D7 if from more human. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Maybe Bishop. But I wanted Knight to D7. Where your Knight go then? To A6 maybe. Uh, after Sometimes B5. Sometimes I can go after B5. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I could do this. You know the problem is uh, when I played B at this point, I only saw Knight to D7, and later I saw Knight to A6. Of course, I could do it with a tempo extra with Bishop on D7. Yeah, it was of course uh, very good. I was wondering about one thing. So I played um, knight d7. Maybe I should have gone b5. Yeah, yeah. Why, why not b5? Like no, oh, no, you know why? Wait, tell me, what is, what is bishop takes b5? What's bishop takes b5? Oh, uh -huh. bishop b5. We did consider this. Oh, b5 oh man. Okay, can you find the winning move here? It's very difficult. It's not. Yeah, I, I mean, I uh, tried already once. I didn't manage. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, nice. Wow, no, this is wow, very nice. I calculated CB, of course. I mean, Queen E4 just that at all doesn't occur to me. It's just oh, very okay. It's a nice solution. But I thought CB, Queen D5, and then I thought Queen E6, Queen A8, Knight C6, Queen B7, or even F5. Ah, F5. No, but I thought Queen B7, B8, F5. I didn't like this. Ah, Rook B8, F5. F5 is always there. It's an annoying move, and he starts to. I don't know. So that's why I didn't do this. Mm. That was my original plan, of course, to do this. Mm. But then I missed, I saw this bishop b5. Yeah, I didn't see, as, as usual, you know, in brilliant variation, the players doesn't see the first move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was, of course, I was very uh, focused on root a c6. Yeah, I was focused on that. Yeah, I, of course, I was very uh, focused on this. And, and he made before, yeah, before was uh, a huge relief, uh, yeah, especially now. now this... Especially after Knight C3. I mean, after, yeah. Now this is now it's clear. Of course, I managed to develop. Oh, sorry, managed to develop everything. And everything is good. Yeah, here. I, I yeah, F5 is panic. F5 is just panic. I mean, even I mean, I didn't even see Bishop H6. It's even winning on the spot. Yeah. yeah so... I mean, I, I was just so I was so happy that F5 came that I can just take it for nothing. I didn't even think about alternatives. Yeah, this was. Uh... Here, do you think that White has any chances to hold? Well, this? I uh, was very impressed with Bishop G4 because at first I thought I'm just winning positionally because Rook on G3 is stranded, yeah. yeah. But Bishop G4, Bishop F5 was very impressive. I thought maybe now he has some chances to hold. This was very impressive. Yeah, yeah. He needs to. He needs. He needs somehow his Rook from G3 away and G4. Rook maybe Rook H3, G4, something like this. Rook G5, G4. Now uh, he's too pinned. He's did, too pinned. Did you uh, like? Feel it during the game that you are now completely winning because it's not like you are winning a piece, but yet the computer gives an advantage of plus eight or something here, which is yeah. Huge. I didn't think like that. I did not see though what move he makes, and he has rook on g3, which is a problem. So yeah, it was clear that I could be winning completely, but I was not sure yet. And bishop at six, and then it was all very yeah. The, just rook on h3 still, yeah, it's out of play. That's good, one. Amazing. Yeah, I was yeah, going like. Really, it was amazingly played. I mean, it was a great, great match. Uh, especially after coming back from one loss is never easy. Uh, and yeah, this fantastic. Tomorrow is a big day. So good luck. For yeah, that. yeah. Good uh, to see you still have some viewers watching this. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, great. Uh, all the viewers were sending the sending the hearts. hearts lot of hearts. And AG, they you guys, also, hearts is uh, nice, but uh, we want super chats. Yeah, I mean, what is this hearts? <laughs> The I... AG they call awesome games today. Ah, awesome okay. games. By the way, Anish, what is your schedule like? Like last question, like uh, when it ends now, do you also work uh, at night or you just end the day? Uh, it depends a little bit on uh, on how I feel and 
uh, during the preliminaries, it was harder. It was much later, I think, right? Yes, one hour. It least. was, and I was also much more tired. Uh, so, uh, not not so much. I mean, I would think about what to do, of course, for sure, but not like actively sit and click uh, with computer. But uh, now I think I will look a bit and uh, yeah, I'll prepare, of course, a little bit. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to prepare, but I also try to take some time to stay away from computer because otherwise it's getting very um, tiring. You know, I was worried already today after the first game that maybe I'm just too tired, maybe I'm finished, you know, maybe my battery is done because I blundered pawn in the center. So that, okay, maybe that's it just. Fortunately, it was not that. It was just like, um, it was, you know, like sometimes you have phone and it went off and you're like, oh, my battery died. Then you turn on and it's like, oh no, 70%. No. Why did this switch off? I don't know, some bug. But it was the same, you know, it, I was turned off. I was thinking, okay, that's it, my battery died. That's it, finish. I thought, okay, it's a bit pity. It's just four days. I mean, not like, uh, not so like a marathon, yeah? Why am I already dead? But then it turned out that it was just glitch, software glitch. <laughs> <laughs> But do, do you find that this tournament as a helpful thing for your preparation for candidates or as a hindrance? Yeah, yeah. Like... No, 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 not hindrance. No, no, it's very, very helpful because you see, I'm uh, uh, working during the tournament also and um, with a very right mindset. Sometimes when you work during training session, when you have one month away from the game, you just prepare. You decide, for example, you decide, yeah, I will look, let's say, neither. Let's say neither of Bishop G5. I'm looking at... So you look neither of Bishop G5, you look, all oh, this interesting, that's interesting. You analyze, you analyze, okay, this is interesting, that everything and so nice. Finally, you analyze and then uh, comes day, you have to play the next day and you are thinking like, wait, what did I analyze? What am I going to play? Which move? This move or that move? And you are like, you know, you have like a different mindset from... And now you're preparing like with the mindset of like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to play a game, what move I'm making? And that's very nice also to... Um, this kind of concrete preparation but does it not happen like if we let's say during the day you're preparing you're like oh let me not prepare so much i have to conserve my energy for the evening game like yeah kramnik once uh, said very nicely i mean <laughs> it was about somebody said like oh uh, maybe you should go for a walk and he said that okay walk walk is nice but <laughs> what move i'm gonna play tomorrow yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but i'm trying yeah of course to it's all about balance agarsha it's all about balance like you know Everything is about balance. You have to spend enough time with your wife, uh, enough time streaming. This Everything is, should be. Yeah, in, uh, this, this, if if there is a company, guys, which deals in balancing, then Anish is the brand ambassador for balance. it. Because <laughs> there, there is no doubt about it. The way he balances everything is just epic. It's just unbelievable. But today his analogies were too good. Sir. Yeah. Too good. In in fifteen minutes, he had this. Four analogies. I gave in two it. and a half hours. Yeah. By the way, AG, you can take anything from these and because these are gold analogies for uh, maybe four. No, but not four for my channel. My channel no. is more clickbait stuff. Yeah. But but <laughs> four <laughs> analogies from from a midnight stream, something like that. You think? And you, people will be like, "What? What is analogies?" I mean, my my channel they don't even uh, <laughs> like, uh, words that are longer than eight letters. They don't even read. And, yeah. Very cool, Anish. Uh, all the best, and we'll be watching your games tomorrow. Good luck, and uh, thanks, thanks, Sagar. See, See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.